Museo Nazionale Romano Palazzo Altan, Rome, Italy. The Palazzo Alta branch of Rome's Museo Nazionale Romano has sculptures and other ancient art installed in the frescoed rooms of a 16th century palace. It has the important collection of Greek and Roman sculpture that belonged to several families of the Roman nobility between the 16th and 17th centuries. The works are on display in beautiful rooms decorated with frescoes on the walls and ceilings. The figures belonging to the Alta collection are also on display in the lovely patio and next to the monumental staircase. Although Cardinal Altom's collection includes over 100 works, many of them are displayed in other museums, such as the Louvre. The Bon Compagnie Ludovic collection spans most of the museum. It consists of more than 100 works, including the Galician Suicide and the remarkable Grand Ludovic Sarcophagus. The palace also displays a major collection of Egyptian art, as well as collections that belong to the Matteo and Del Drago families. Perhaps one of the most striking parts of the museum is the Church of San Aniceto, a small and pleasant church located within the building. The new home to the famed Ludovic and Matei collections of ancient sculpture is a crown jewel in Rome's touristic renaissance, and a prime example of Italy's seemingly newfound ability to craft a 21st century museum that respects both the gorgeous architecture and frescoes of the renaissance space in which it is installed, and the aesthetic and historic value of the classical collection it contains. Rather than stuff lots of statues into every nook and cranny of this Altom space, they've placed just a few choice pieces in each room, allowing and encouraging you to examine each statue carefully, walk around it, and read the accompanying placard in English and Italian that explains its significance and shows which bits are original and which were restored in the 17th century. The 16th to 18th century palazzo itself is gorgeous, with a grand central courtyard and many surviving frescoes and original painted wood ceilings, especially upstairs, where you can wander onto a bus-lined, Alberti-inspired loggia frescoed as a garden of delights in the 1590s. The collections mix Roman originals with many Greek, Hellenistic, or Roman copies of Greek works, as well as a handful of older Egyptian. The Museum of Palazzo Altam houses absolute masterpieces of ancient sculpture belonging to famous and valuable noble collections received in state ownership. The installation aims to integrate, in a harmonious combination, the marbles in the decorative context of the rooms, having in mind and proposing solutions adopted in the arrangement of antique collections. The visit, on two floors, reveals a succession of decorated rooms, a maze of stairs and corridors leading to the discovery of the ancient works of art. A noble palace turned museum, the Palazzo Altam is now a branch of the National Roman Museum and is filled with priceless classical sculptures. Built for Girolamo Riario, the nephew of Pope Sixtus IV in the late 1480s, it passed to Cardinal Marco Sidico Altam, who had it renovated in full Renaissance style. The delightfully styled palace is just a few steps from Piazza Navona. It was built over the remains of a Roman domus. The Cardinal Altam added the Altana, rooftop tower-like loggias, and the delightful inner courtyard, decked out with decorative arcades and loggias. Emblems of the Altam and Orsini families are found among the sculptures and reliefs. A fascinating fountain is embedded with glass mosaics. The Palazzo was the scene of many ceremonies and noble events, which made it popular with intellectuals, as well. Statuary is found everywhere. The Altam family.